What is going on, dudes? We got Brandon Woodruff. So, his last start, he absolutely dominated. I don't know if you guys saw it, but it was like eight innings, no runs, ten punches, and going into the playoffs now, facing the Dodgers, I believe. Yeah. But um, I've been wanting to do a breakdown on him. I actually reached out to him and asked him if he had any video. But um, shout out Pitchers Nation on Instagram. They hooked up with some videos, so we're going to take a look. We're going to break down some of the things that I like in his delivery. First one, starting with his ability to instill um, forward momentum in his initial move. If you don't really know, I'm not going to speak too much into the dynamic of like what certain things are. But if you do want more information on these certain mechanical things, be sure to go to my website. You can go to therobbyroshow.com slash mechanics, and you'll see a ton of content on all of these things that I bring up. So first one, again, forward momentum. We're going to be diving into this and how Woodruff does this extremely well. And give you a little bit of context, actually. I know I just said I wouldn't, but um, forward momentum. Um, I've talked about how the initial move, like the opening move in your delivery, is extremely important. We're going to see here, watch as soon as he lifts this leg, what his body does, okay? So as he lifts, where's his body going? right, towards his desired target. We see a lot of times uh, this is the whole dynamic with the mound and gravity, the slope, the influence, and, and the required stability to be able to accept acceleration, accept gravity, and the influence gravity has when we're going downhill, right? So obviously Woodruff, guy that throws extremely hard, does this really, really well. Bigger dude moves towards his desired target as he's lifting his leg. Something that I also really like is a pendulum act. So we see hands and feet. I'm huge on hands and feet and how they should work together to create rhythm, tempo, and consistency, right? So we see the hands and the feet move simultaneously. They go, right? So with that, we also see the momentum. Now the job is to stabilize that momentum as he descends from that leg lift. As we, as we see this video over here on the right, give a pretty good portrayal of that as well. So now we see, does he stabilize? Boom, absolutely freaking lutely Big dude, strong lower half, 100%. Stabilizing in that drive leg, right? And in rhythm with his hand separation. We see a lot of times that guys will start trying to instill this momentum and then as they start to go down into their drive phase that this this leg will just crack forward me personally i'm actually someone that doesn't do a great job at that but we see woodruff pull it off exceptionally well so now what's next where's the head in relation to the body center cut right so now he's he's accelerating more because he's not shooting backs, he's not shooting, you know, into a hip coil, again, not wrong or right, but we know that he's going to have a lot more acceleration down the slope into his front foot strike and a lot more force to be stabilized. So let's check it out. Boom. Absolutely. You can just see where his torso is going forward as he anchors down a lot more force to be had, right? Same over here. Boom. Boom. And this goes with my conversation that I had, um, or the topic of the velocity enhancing move. Watch how this, this move, again, go to the website, check out the velocity enhancing moves. Watch how this is so precise at happening in a matter of freaking milliseconds. Hand flips up, front foot anchors down. So what do we have there? So we have the anchor point happening as soon as the hand comes up, meaning the trunk has stayed neutral this entire time. But if we can see exactly where the foot is positioned, that gives us a good indication of where that rear hip is. So we have optimal amounts of separation between the hips and the shoulders. Okay, we have this move. I know I draw this a lot, but it's the same thing. The hand flips up late or later, 
gives us a really good idea of that trunk staying neutral as the hips go into rotation. That segmentation dynamic we've been talking about for a long time, absolutely. Now the job is to brace or block. So watch how this knee does not shift forward upon landing. So if we were to draw this straight line, This knee will not cross that line. I know the video moves a little bit, but you can pretty much see it. So we have an extremely efficient lead leg block. I know this was a change up, so it doesn't change. Extremely efficient lead leg block, trail leg stays long, late launch, right? So late launch, the chest in front of that knee, early pronation, a lot of things moving, moving really well and then arm deceleration. So his trunk actually rotates more at release, gives his arm more time and flexion in the arm. So he bends his arm, gives him more time to decelerate so his arm has the ability to accelerate. So there you have it, Brandon Woodruff stud. Let's sync them up with ball release, talk about these things. Might not happen. Uh, one video is a little slow, that's why. So, anyways, um, so breaking it down, forward momentum. Right? So as soon as he lifts his leg, his body is going down hill. He's accelerating his body. Now we have acceleration. Okay, so his acceleration rate is high because he's controlling his head in the center of his body. He has instilled forward momentum in his delivery. And he's not defying gravity. He's accepting what gravity allows for him to do on the slope going into his front foot strike. Now, third, we have stability. So we need that drive leg stability, right, to, to handle that force upon the descending leg lift, right? So if we don't have that, that cracks forward, we leak a ton of energy. But he has that. He has the ability to do that. And now we have the, what I would call, my own terms, velo enhancing that's, you know, it always happens on the eye. <laughs> move. And this move is simply, I would encourage you to look at more context on that, but it's a move at the timing of wh when that hand flips up into hand raise and when this front foot is going to get into his anchor point. All right. So that move in particular is extremely important to look at because that's going to decide when his trunk begins to rotate, where his hips are at, and how he's being able to maximize arm acceleration by pulling the arm through as the trunk rotates as the hips complete their rotation. And then four, we have the, the block, lead leg, fantastic. We have uh, hip extension. Hip stays long, right? Trail leg stays long, doesn't shoot into flexion. His hips rotate on time. He's got the required stability. It's fantastic. Great work. And then we have late launch. Remember, the chest goes in front of that lead knee. <clears throat> we want shoulder extension. So that throwing shoulder is in front of that glove side shoulder. We see oftentimes guys early launch, they miss out on an opportunity to create extension. We want to be close to home plate when we release the ball, right? And then, um, and then lastly, just uh, arm decel. Right? So we saw it over here, his arm's ability, or his body's ability to finish trunk rotation, which buys his arm even more time, but then also his arm's going to go into a bend 
which is going to buy his arm even more time. Arm can only accelerate as fast as it can decelerate, so he's completely efficient at his ability to decelerate his arm. Fantastic. Um, I encourage you, again, once more, check out all of the contacts that I mentioned in this video that can be found on my website, therobbyroshow.com forward slash mechanics, or you can just go to the search and just type in acceleration or forward momentum or the velocity enhancing move and all that stuff. Um, encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube because my stuff is all on there. And if you don't, probably not going to be friends with you. That's probably a joke. I'll still love you anyways. Okay. If you want your mechanics analyzed, if you're a, a player watching this, go to the link in the description that says, click this link to book your analysis. Until next time, it's your boy. God bless. Enjoy your day. Love you. Bye.